Good morning, everyone. I wanted to uh, make a short video here and kind of dispel some rumors and some things that's out there floating around on Facebook. Um, I've been in Dallas this past week uh, trying to review and finalize the, the, the TAs in the contract. Um, we're still missing uh, compensation for maintenance and related, and we're missing for all groups the, um, the document on the profit sharing plan that was agreed to. So we're actually not finished, and I actually haven't seen all of the uh, TAs. I have not had a chance to review them. So everything that I'm getting ready to tell you about voting and, and reviewing the contract is all tied to whether or not we actually get the last few pieces to review. So if we get the last few pieces to review, um, then the things that's out on Facebook, I think some, some of the other, um, the IEM may have it posted somewhere. It's, there's, there's different things out there. Um, I, we did have a conference call um, with Gary Peterson Monday to discuss this proposed date for a vote, a ratification vote. And that was, we were told, March the 26th. Again, March the 26th, but you can't vote on something if you don't have it to review and if it's not even finalized. So again, it's tied to if we get done and when we get done. So I was told that we were going to vote March the 26th. It was going to be a hand vote by ballot. It was going to be colored for MNR, one color, uh, uh, MLS was going to be another color of ballot. Fleet would be another color of ballot. So that would happen at the hall from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, originally, it was going to be 8 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. There's been there's there's a lot of a lot of concerns that not everyone will be able to participate. You have people on leave of absence. You have people in the hospital. You have people on vacation in foreign countries. Um, it's we didn't have any say so. That I as your elected president, we, I didn't have a say so in any of this. I'm told so. When you don't give people an opportunity to vote, either by a phone call in or electronic, um, I it it just feels to me like maybe they don't care if you vote or not. So uh, don't kill the messenger on that one. I I want everyone to have a chance at voting, but um, if you can't be able to come to the union hall. As it stands on March 26th from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., um, they're not going to give you that opportunity to vote. That's an issue that will have to be dealt with going forward. Um, so back to the contract. I believed what I was told we was going to finish today on Friday and that on the 9th and 10th, it would be ready for print and to be sent out to you in the mail for you to get it in your hand at your mailing address and available to post it on our website and get the information and print it off of the computer or just read through it right there on the computer. Um, so I can't say for certain when that'll happen. When I get a hard date, I'll post it. But uh, I want you to get the contract in your hand and I want you to go to the articles that you feel are important to you, and I'd like to ask that you read them from start to finish. Then read them again and again and again until you have a grasp of what it's trying to tell you because there is a lot of changes. And then what I'm going to try to do is get with Al Ball, our IT guy, I talked to him just before making this video, and, and we were gonna try to set up on the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that's going to be 23rd, 23rd of March, 24th, 25th, the three days before the vote on the 26th. We're going to try to figure out um, how to do a live stream, an interactive two-way live stream where you would be able to communicate and we could talk about this. It's kind of late. Uh, it's like the 11th hour. It's kind of too late to go rent an event center like we've done in the past. And so I'm trying to work with um, the details of how to handle this as they come to me. So my thoughts are this, get the contract when it's available to you, read the articles that are important to you, 
read the whole thing. I would like for you to read the whole thing, but it's going to be a really thick contract book. And then I am going to get with Al and I'm going to post videos. They're going to be by article. There'll be some articles. There may be 15 of the, I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. Say there's 30, 39, 40 articles. Probably 15 of them. Uh, dues check off, union bulletin boards, uniforms. There's going to be certain ones that I would ask that you would go review those on your own. I'm not going to try to make videos for something like union bulletin boards or the dues check. And the ones that I would like to concentrate on are the ones that touch you, your livelihood, how you bid for your jobs, how you transfer, how you get paid, your vacation, the, the your medical, all, all the ones that, are, uh, that we've been waiting on for quite some time to get finished. We'll have videos to discuss the highlights of those, which should prompt you to have more questions. And then on the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday leading up to the vote, I would hope that we could figure out this live interactive video to where you could participate, you could ask your questions, but we'll also be setting up at the hall for you to be able to come down and ask your questions. And, and at the hall, my thoughts are maybe we, we take some of the large, most important um, articles and we just go through them once for midnight shift and we go through them again for um, day shift. We go through them again for second shift and I plan on the board and I being there and being available for those three days. It, it might be 24 hours a day and I might have to go take a, uh, a nap in my car and come back in, but um, it's been almost five years and I want to be available um, to answer any and all questions. Um, questions I can't answer, we'll post those up to uh, Gary Peterson and uh, we'll try to get a clarification answer for you. Um, so, that being said, um, there hasn't been a lot to report. There's been a lot of rumors. I hope this video can at least bring you up to date to where I know that we are actually at. Um, things change. I plan on uh, hopefully hearing from the International and having a conference call. We typically have calls on Friday. And if the information changes, I'll get that information to you. So the board will go down Monday and Tuesday for a re review with Local 591 and Local 567 in Dallas. They will finish that up, and that way they'll have um, at least uh, an opportunity to start answering questions and talking to you about that. So it's Friday. Y'all have a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.